Good morning, Revivers. Happy Resurrection Sunday. We are so happy you joined us for our service today. If this is your first time visiting the in-person service or on our Facebook Live, Pastor Paul, Lady Shannon, and the RCMI family welcomes you and thank you for joining us today. RCMI family, these are your announcements for the week of April 9th, 2023. You can purchase your tickets for the Mother of Zion Breakfast today. Tickets are $15 per person and you can pick them up in the Fellowship Hall. Both men and women are invited to celebrate the women in their lives. Grief to Grace has an upcoming event entitled Let's Be Transparent in Our Grief. This event will take place here at Revival Center Ministries on Saturday, April 15th from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. and lunch will be provided. For more information, contact Carmen Jackson at 937-572-8584. Hope to see you there. We will be joining Declare Dayton again for the citywide cleanup on Saturday, April 22nd at 9 a.m. Revival Center will be a host church site for this initiative and will be feeding everyone who helps on the west side of Dayton. We need all hands on deck for this community service project. If you can help clean, sign up people, or help serve food, please sign up in the Fellowship Hall. This will be a great community service project for youth, so please sign them up too. For more information, visit the Evangelistic Outreach Table. After service, make sure you pick up your children from the Super Church and Nursery and take them to the Fellowship Hall to get pictures and an Easter basket. Thanks to our Evangelistic Outreach Ministry for setting this up for the children. There are several ways to give. If you would like to give by Cash App, use the Cash App name dollar sign R E V C E N M I N. You can also use your credit cards to swipe so you do not need to write your numbers on the envelopes. The finance team will be available before and after services to pay your giving using your credit cards. You still can give online as well. And thank you for your continued financial support for the ministry. We leave you with these words to think on. In the chaos, his peace is our anchor. That which is rooted in God would not be uprooted in the storm.